Hey artists, friends, subscribers, welcome back. So I know that you're not used to seeing the studio like this. You're used to seeing the background and everything, lots of fun colors going on, uh, probably hot mess here and there, but it is seriously a hot mess right now because I'm like definitely decluttering and I know that I did that earlier this year, but it just didn't work out. So this is the time to deep clean, declutter. And as I was doing that today, later on I thought, you know what, I'm going to give my subscribers the content they deserve. <laughs> And the quality content you deserve is some mini art reviews. I thought I would just pull some stuff at random and give you like a summary of each product and, you know, what I say about it, what I would recommend, what I don't recommend, and just kind of have fun with it until, you know, we get this all kind of together and I can give you some more tutorials and get back to some of the original content that I like to do. But I tell you what, I really enjoy building this community and I just want to say thank you for your continued support, those of you who have come back and have communicated with me. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I'm Jane, I'm an artist, and I like to connect with artists like you through vlogs and tutorials and so much more so feel free to hit that subscribe button or just give this video a like if you have fun watching it that's really the point of all this so without further ado I'm just gonna pick some stuff out and get going <laughs> this should be interesting and number one the Faber Castell India ink pens these are the artist pit pens look how beautiful those are <laughs> they're so satisfying and actually they really are I find them to be very unique and if you can use them on vellum paper you can actually kind of blend them with your finger or like Yupo paper so that's pretty cool and love them highly recommend them these are the big pit pens they're so chunky and so satisfying and they blend so well together and I just love them. They're very unique and you can do so many things with them. They're very versatile. So yes, get your hands on these. You can get them open stock at Dick Blake too. Graphitant 24 pencils by Derwent. They are awesome. They kind of give a muted tone whenever they're dry. Beautifully vibrant and deep muted tones whenever they're wet. So I highly recommend them. Uh, Derwent is awesome by the way. Yeah, send me products if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Gold Class Watercolors. Beautiful, vibrant, intense. I'm in love with them. M. Graham gouache set, mixing set. Just got these. I'm so low with them. They're so smooth, not chalky. So beautiful. Ooh, the Maya Himi gouache jelly cup design. Beautiful, lovely. You can take these out. I love them. I could dip my face in them. This little baby don't look like much, but it is a Perfection Pencil by Faber-Castell. One end is an eraser, get that? The other end is to brush off that eraser. <laughs> it really is ingenious, thank you, Faber-Castell. Oh, the brush pens by Ecoline, so beautiful, wonderful, satisfying to use as watercolor effects. However, for some reason, I'm just not into them right now, but I'm going to keep them anyway. So yeah, look at them colors. Lovely tip. Beautiful tip. Oh, you can see my full review on it somewhere on the channel. I'll put a link in the description and in the box. Oh, the God sang. Oh, yes, baby. Look at these. These are the best watercolor pencils you will ever own. They completely dissolve under water. They're amazing. Just go ahead and get them. And, of course, the famous Polychromos, its sister. So, these are the dry pencils versions. You know them. You love them. I love them. They're beautiful. They create such lifelike layering, and I'm just... <clears throat> it's been a while since I've used them. I like to use them sparingly for mixed-media pieces. Good times. Daniel Smith, don't tell anybody, but you're my favorite. You have so much granulation, so much beauty to you. You have no idea. Your soul shines on my watercolor paper. Mwah. Ooh, Sennelier. Sennelier, don't tell anyone, but you're my favorite too. <laughs> I'm almost out of you. Bright yellow green, so luminous, so wonderful. So beautiful on your paper, made with honey. Mm. The gambling, gambling galkad. Use no other. I promise you, your oil paintings will dry faster and luminous and gorgeous. Just get it. What an essential. 
<laughs> Beautiful, wonderful duster. Not the most glamorous, but it is a tool that will help you out forever if you're doing graphite or any kind of draft work. Art graph, colored, graphite. Yeah, you heard that. Colored, graphite. Now they're just messing with us, okay? I've used these a couple of times. I'm not really sure how I feel about them. Um, I'm gonna have to dig deeper, but it is interesting. It's water soluble and you can kind of tell that it's graphite. It kind of has that same texture, but whatever, you know, hey, whatever floats your boat. Now this, I did a review on and I did portrait tips on. So this is the Art Graph. Solid graphite, it's water soluble. You can paint with it and then it dries to a nice finish to make it look like actual graphite. It's just very painterly. Painterly graphite. How ingenious is that? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I've done a video on it. Go check it out. You may ask what I'm doing with these. You'll soon find out. Prismacolor. Love it or hate it. It is what it is. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Many love it. Many don't. Sometimes it breaks. Sometimes it creates beautiful, luminous, vibrant, Mm, layers of color that are just yummy. And who am I fooling? These are my absolute favorites. Shut the front door. My goodness. <laughs> Everybody loves the pastels. Yes, they're absolutely worth it. No, you can't get them up in stock. It's kind of a, you know what, a little bit of a pain in the, you know what, but goodness gracious, worth the price tag. The only thing is, is that I don't use them all the time because of that price tag. I don't want to buy another box. Shame on you, Holbein! Hmm, the Artisan Metallic Gouache. Unique. Some of them are not really that great. Some of them are amazing. It's just a mixed bag with these guys. Karin Dosh Gouache Studio, my first ever. Hmm! You can take it anywhere. You can pop these guys out. You can create so many different things with these, like watercolor effects and beautiful layered gouache effects and so many other things. Do I recommend it? You know I do. I get so excited I can't even talk. <sighs> it's getting really hot down here. Windsor & Newton markers, pigment markers. Still haven't quite figured them out. Still haven't quite understood them entirely, but I am on a mission to do it. I'm going to understand these one day. They're like the redheaded stepchild of my art supplies. One of my absolute favorites lately, Art is a Watercolor Sketchbook. It's seen better days, but I have been working with it. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Ooh, nice. It holds lots of gouache well. It is nice, it's convenient. And you have a little marker, which I haven't used yet because it's me and I just do it. Necessary utilities. Magello buckets, yes, yes. Just go get them, get them with a coupon at Michael's, do what you gotta do. How do you put up with me? <laughs> Princeton Select. Goodness, what a wonderful brand and a wonderful and innovative mixed media kind of situation. <laughs> Unique mixed media paintbrushes. Look at that little itty bitty fan. I mean, I've used them in oil paintings, and they're wonderful. Blake Studio Acrylic. Buttery, goodness buttery, for student quality. It is artist quality, yet at a student price. Goodness, I need to be sponsored. <laughs> but seriously though, they are my favorites. Ink in a pencil form and in a block form. So many possibilities. Stunning. And I still don't feel like I've tapped into the full potential of this, but you know what that means? I'm going to study it. Hmm. Not so much. Pasca. Love these. If you want something that's opaque and consistent, this is the marker to go to. Polycolor by Koei Noor. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> it is absolutely wonderful, underrated, beautiful color, oil-based pencil, wonderful price budget alternative to polychromos, and the only thing is we don't have light fast ratings on these, so there's a little bit of a trade-off there. But I love them, and I've done a review on them, and you can go check that out. You know I'm gonna bring it up, Dr. P.H. Martin's Liquid Radiant Watercolor 
so beautiful. And guess what? Four sets. I have all four of them. You can use them for pen, airbrush, and cartooning, and so many other different things. Watercoloring, mixed media, everything you can possibly think of, you can use these with. These guys, you know, you've seen them. I'm impressed. Pilot Eno sketching pencils, some of my favorite. I did a video on it, got a couple of techniques for you. If you want something different and you like that mechanical pencil feel, get them. The world's smallest eraser is the most amazing eraser. So very precise. The Alvin Dunn ink bottle shaped pencil sharpener. One of my favorite manuals. It's way overpriced at $11, but goodness, it lasts a long time. Look how cute it is. You have no idea how many situations I've gotten myself out of thanks to this little guy right here. Beautiful highlights on your watercolors, by the way, if you don't use Frisket. Daniel Smith, if you can get the, your hands on this mixing set, you'll have about 40 colors. It's that awesome. You see this right here? This is the most beautiful ink you will ever buy. Winsor & Newton. So gorgeous. So satisfying to use, especially against black. Such a wonderful little tool. This is the Delta Ultra Fine Mist Sprayer. I have a little bit of flow aid in here and some water. It sprays the most amazing little mist. So good for your flow acrylics, watercolor, whatever you want to use, ink. Just get it already. I mean, it's only like eight bucks. This is the most fun you'll have in such a small little package. I wish they were just a little bit more affordable. Goodness gracious, beautiful colors. So many things you can do with these. You could have something that ends up like my shirt. Mona Lisa, odorless mineral spirits. The one, the only. You can use it with your colored pencils. You can use it with your oil paints. You're just glorious. You know it, you just are. I don't know if anyone ever told you, but you are enough for practice. I don't know what it is about it, but it gets me going. For finished artwork, this one gets a lot of love. This one too, for dry media. Gosh, Derwent, what went wrong? These were so awesome in concept, but in execution, they were just, you couldn't control them. They were kind of messy. And while that was sort of the point, you still need some kind of control over your artwork. And look at how beautiful they look. But they also like to kind of dry out and um, you can't get much out of them after a while. And so... Some of these worked beautifully, actually, and then some of them just, <clears throat> so. But I do love you, Derwent. I do love you, Derwent. These are so underrated, so velvety, and easy to work with. Wonderful. I love these things, and I wish they just had a larger range. So, Derwent, I love you. So, I'm just letting you know. I'm, my mind is kind of a blur at this point. I'm not really sure what I should pick up. <laughs> the Pelican Watercolor Transparent Watercolor Set. I do love the design. It's a little on the bulky side, I'll say that. They're not my favorites. They're not the most vibrant. Um, they're a little bit more on the muted side. But what I love about this, cups, and they need to be washed. They're kind of satisfying to look at, I'll give them that. And they pop out. Awkward to put back together. The one, the only mother load of all color pencil price tags at least. <laughs> the Pablo pencils from Karin Dosh. These, yes, I know, they are wax-based. I used to think they were oil-based. I read them where they were oil-based somewhere, and now I've been given shit for three years over it. So yes, I do know that they are wax-based. What I love about these is that they sharpen to a fine, fine point. They have unique colors that I cannot find in other color pencil sets. And they come to such a fine, sharp point, and you can draw many surfaces, you can make little itty bitty pieces of art on wood. So, very nice. So, worth the price tag? Yeah, for the most part. And that is that. I haven't even counted everything, so we'll just see what happens. If you like this kind of video, I will do another one in the future. Hopefully I won't be quite as sweaty and shiny. <laughs> So, hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and I would love to see you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed. For those of you who are returning, thank you for watching, and I really appreciate your love and support, and 
enough. You're enough. You are enough. You really are. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and a blessed day. And thank you for watching. So artists, no matter what you're doing, keep creating, keep yourself inspired, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh my. This is a, oh, shoot. Graphitin pencil. <laughs> is the most amazing eraser. Focus now. Mission Gold Plus. Pooh. Gold Plus. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm tired, but I'm taking this for the team. Let's go. Wonderful mixed media. Unique. This serves its purpose for that sort of muted um, office look. <laughs> Use them that much. However, I did use them for my David Bowie piece. For real? Are you guys fighting again? Okay, the cats have broke something and knocked something off. Now if I could just, if I could just, if I could just get this out. <laughs> it's so quiet right now. It's hot down here. This was not a good life decision. <laughs> By Dr. P.H. Martins. I just, why? If you're picky, Use the hydrous watercolor. Graphitin pencils by Derwent. Graphitin. Man, there's cobwebs on it. It's been a while since I've used these. Jelly cup design. Oh my goodness! In an effort to be equal. <laughs> and I still haven't put the full potato. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have it if you're gonna be using colored pencils. What an essential. Wow. <laughs> and there you have. Just like that, folks, you can you can put it right back together, just like that. <laughs>